Hey guys, it's Courtney and Ken, and here we are inside the East Sound Theater in Detroit. As you can see, we're actually standing on the stage, and behind me is what used to be the seating on the bottom, which there are actually no seats left, but there is a lot of the cushions, as you can see in the middle. We'll go over there in a minute. Um, scrappers took the rest of the seats, but up on the top you can see what used to be a beautiful seating balcony, and if you look at the high end, the ceiling in here just looks fantastic beautiful piece. There's even still curtains on the sides over here, if you can see. Um, there is obviously a very large hole, so weather is getting in and pretty much taking out everything else. Right next to us, on the other side, was a furniture store, and it burnt down. However, the fire barely touched the theater, thankfully, although obviously weather has gotten to it quite a bit. This theater opened in 1931 on October 1st with Clark Gable's Sporting Blood movie. And there's a really neat picture online that I found of it. Op it's opening night. Cars just lined up around the block. Detroit was very rich in the 30s, and it had a lot of money. So that's why this sort of been built along with many others that decade. The theater park closed in 1967 and reopened in 1969 as a music venue until December 11, 1971, where Detroit actually pulled the business license due to open drug trades in the middle of the music venue, and it closed. It reopened again in 1975 under a new name of the Showcase Theater for only 18 months as a music venue. In 1980 to 1984, it was an adult film theater. And then the Detroit Center for the Performing Arts tried to take it over in 1984, weren't able to get funding, and since then it hosted a variety of things like raves, and a church tried to buy it after that. And now it's just been sitting and decaying, and definitely a home for scrappers. As you can see, there's absolutely not a single seat left, metal-wise, but there, all the cushions are piled right in the middle. <laughs> If you're looking to explore the East Town Theater, you can walk right in. All of the doors are completely gone. This is the front door. And we walked in the back door. Every door is completely gone. storage closet. Looks like lids to pops and little pouches. Lots and lots of little pouches. Little old hot dog holders. <sighs> These are probably for fries or something. Oh yeah. Sandwiches or popcorn or anything. Little tiny pouches.
So it looks like this is behind the upper seating. And there is some pretty neat older furniture in here. Oh, nice. Should we go Yeah. Oh, old Pepsi can. Huh? I said old Pepsi can. Look at these beautiful pieces. Couple of shells of houses that have been burnt down. Come on across there. The top half is it? The bottom half is it? Good. Seems to be the fire escape. Yeah. I wouldn't trust those stairs. Yeah, there's a window right here. There's a window right here.
presided here. There's a very new copy of and some clothes in a bag and all. The next house is also burnt and completely damaged. Street, that whole strip's gone. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. The east side of Detroit over here has had problems since the 70s when it started to really decline in the late 60s. This might have been the projection area. I was going to say. February 16th, 1926. Aerofin heating and cooling. Huh. Look at that. That's a giant exhaust fan. That's really cool. How safe that is. It's the duct. Holly runs out on top of the ceiling. At least for a little while I can see. Yeah. I don't know. It's cool. It smells bad. I go to there. I think it do you think it'll be okay? Uh, Are you questioning? I'm questioning. Well, how about I just step in like the first row? Okay. I'll stay here. Hold that for me. That is probably a stupid idea to walk out over that. I mean, we, we're, at least we're videoing it. Chair to have the bottle stairs. Yeah. Christmas stuff. <laughs> Seasonal storage. Barbecue 
the church thing. Uh, <laughs> orientation at BB so long ago. Nice. 98. Neat. side and back view of the East Town Theater. I'll be driving out the front so you can see. There's the front entrance right there and what would have been the marquee. Hey guys, it's Courtney. We just finished at the East Town Theater in Detroit and our feedback is that it's definitely boot wearing place to go. Um, it is no work to get in there. Everything, every single door is completely wide open and gone. So no having to bring pry bars, no having to climb into things, but there is a lot of debris. There is a lot of metal sticking out everywhere and for us, it's March, and if you're not in Northwest Ohio or Southeast Michigan, um, we have snow still, and we're having actually a huge winter storm tonight. So there was a lot of snow inside the theater, and there was actually places where it was completely iced. But other than that, I thought it was very pretty. The ceiling in there was just phenomenal at one point. That was probably my favorite part, actually, was the oval ceiling. That was half coming down, but it was just so beautiful. Um, all the seats are completely gone, which kind of sucks, but the stage is still pretty intact aside from the giant hole in the middle, um, but it looks pretty neat. It's definitely worth checking out. What did you think? I thought it was really cool. <laughs> Thanks, that's helpful. Yeah. Any I tips liked, or anything? I liked that we didn't have to do much to get inside. Yeah, that was really nice. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the seats going up. The or where the seats were? Yeah. Used to be? Yeah. The upper level of seating? Yeah, it was really cool. 